Hello everybody, my name is Bebo16A. Today I will be reviewing uh, a knife I've had for a pretty long time. Haven't gotten around to do a review for it, but I feel like I know it well enough now uh, to finally do that. So uh, just let me get the tripod set up, we'll get right into it. I just kind of want to start this off out by uh, just showing off the curves and the really nice blade design SOG or SOG knives put into this uh, knife. It's an Americanized or Westernized Tonto style, meaning that this this edge right here is is a is flat edge. Although you can get this in um uh, you can get it in partially serrated, but this is a a straight straight edge which meets at a point here, comes up at a at a rather sharp angle, and meets at a point up here. And then it's kind of modified because it's also a drop point. But just look at that. That's a nice, nice Tonto. Here, let me just, um, I'm just going to clean off the blade a little bit to get rid of those fingerprints. Just going to use some mineral, mineral oil. Oh, that's kind of a lot. And an old sock in replace of, uh, I don't have any more shop towels. But yeah, just look at that. Sun glints off. Um, this knife is an assisted opening knife. As you can see, the assisted opening system is pretty quick. Whoops. Let me just zoom out a little bit. And rotate the camera. The assisted opening is quick and it locks hard. This is a a SOG version of Benchmade's, I think I think they call it the arc lock? I don't know, but it has a, the lock mechanism is right here. When the blade is locked, you just pull back on this little knob, and the blade is, uh, is able to be returned. This knife actually comes with an interesting little safety here. Uh, when it's red, the blade is not on safe, and if you push it down, now the blade is on safe, and you cannot deploy it. It's stuck in there. That is mostly to protect against the blade deploying in your pocket, although I don't really ever, ever use that. Uh, I'm not really worried about it deploying in my pocket at all. And sometimes it gets knocked onto safety, and I think that's kind of inconvenient. What Not and Fancy recommends is that you uh, super glue the safety in the open position. That way it just doesn't ever get messed up. Nice pocket clip on this knife. It is SOG's traditional bayonet clip, deep carry. Really deep carry. Um, it rides invisibly in your pocket. You need to make sure that that is okay in your state or your city because in some uh, areas a deep carry pocket clip constitutes the knife as being concealed carry. Although this knife coming in at three and a half inches exactly is allowed to be concealed carry in most places but again uh, don't take my word for it please check. Um, Blade is made of AUS-8 steel, AUS-8, which is a medium grade steel, although on the higher end. It is... Uh, rel it's, it doesn't dull quickly, but in my experience, SOG knives dull relatively quickly. But with the AUS-8 steel, they are also pretty easy to sharpen, so you kind of trade off. It's, a, it's, it's right in the middle. You're going to need to sharpen your knives more often than never, but they take an, age rather well, an edge rather well. All right, sorry about that, everyone. The bank decided to call. Uh, they should know. I tell them when I'm doing reviews. Not, not really. But um, yeah, like I said, deployment is fast and smooth. Not really much to say about that. This knife did get at one point on my vacation in Florida filled with sand, and it actually wouldn't close. Um, but it washed out. I managed to clean it out, and now uh, you wouldn't even tell that there was ever sand in there. It cleaned out really well. The handle material is a glass reinforced nylon. This stuff is super hard. Yes, it's a type of plastic, but uh, I'm not worried at all about this uh, breaking or wearing. It's pretty much, I wouldn't say invincible, but this is, is a really tough material. And uh, it's textured well. Um, another example of a plastic knife that doesn't have good texture are the uh, Zytel scales. 
on this Ontario Rat 1. Very popular knife, very affordable, but the uh, this plastic is just not, is very slippery. Not so with the uh, the SOG Flash 2. Or did I say Flash 1? This is Flash 2, but whatever. Um, uh, it's very, very comfortable and ergonomic in your hand. There are double finger toils right here for your index and middle finger. My thumb naturally rests on top on this jimping, which isn't worthless, but it's uh, mostly aesthetic in my opinion. This is also mostly aesthetic, as is this right here. There is a kind of small lanyard hole. Uh, you probably could fit um, gutted. 550 cord through that, but it, it, it's pretty small. But I wouldn't fit, put a lanyard on this knife anyway, but that's just my my opinion. The pocket clip is reversible for right or left hand carry, but it will always be tip up. There are no positions up here for tip down. Not too many people are going to complain about that. As for cutting com cutting performance on this knife, um, it's a Tonto, which makes it work very well for cutting and stabbing or not cutting and stabbing, stabbing and thrust cuts and self-defense um, not so great for EDC tasks although it will work, it's a nice big blade you can certainly cut through things but I think that the main purpose of this knife at least the way I use it is in a self-defense or light EDC role if I'm going to as well as a uh, concealed carry knife if I'm going to banks uh, post offices, places where I don't really want people to know I'm carrying a knife. I'll carry this just because it has such a deep carry, deep carry pocket clip. Not like the uh, Ontario that sticks out of your pocket quite a bit. And like what I'm carrying right now, the uh, Spyderco. Spyderco Tenacious sticks out of the pocket quite a bit. This one rides real low, it's concealed. The Tonto is strong and well suited for stabbing, which makes it perfect for self-defense. And uh, that's pretty much where I stand with this knife. Don't really know what else to tell you. It comes with a lifetime warranty for SOG. I picked this up for about $100, but trust me, you can get this way cheaper on Amazon. Don't buy it directly from SOG. Never settle for full MSRP, because you can find these literally half the price uh, other places on the internet. Um, but... Uh, this knife does it is in need of a sharpening. That's something I've noticed with my SOG knives. They dull pretty quickly. I mean, it's still sharp and it's still really, really pointy. This tip is nice and acute for the stabbing. But, yeah. My friends, because of me buying this knife, two of my friends have bought it after me. Everyone loves it. It's uh, light, really light. Don't feel it in the pocket. Blends in well. Deep carry pocket clip, good for concealing, good for self-defense. This version does come in, uh, there's no satin Tonto, there is a combo edge Tonto, and there is a uh, clip point Tontos as well, but, or not clip point Tontos, but clip point blades as well. Um, but for a good self-defense light EDC knife, I would highly recommend the Flash 2. Uh, Slog makes a great product. If you want to see more reviews on my other knives, including the ones that I've mentioned coming up, please subscribe. If you like the video, click like. And if you have any questions, if I forgot to add anything about this SOG, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. I love to answer your questions. Uh, anyways, this is Beepo16A, and thanks for watching.